All right, everyone, how's it going? And how's it going, guys? Um, yeah, I'm just looking at the, uh, the picture, and I'm seeing that the, the mat here doesn't look green. The color's not right. Supposed to be green. I don't know what you guys see. I see like brown. It's supposed to be green. Anyway, I haven't done a video for uh, almost a week, so I figured I'm going to do one and just going to rip a whole bunch of random packs and see how it goes. So, first things first, let's try to get the lighting right. And lose the um, now it looks blue. Interesting, but that's all right. We're gonna just press on and hopefully get rid of the glare. That's the main thing. I want to get rid of the glare. Why is it not in focus? Why is the camera there? It goes oh, my shadow must be causing a a stir across the thing. That's funny. Shadow. Yes, the shadow takes it out of focus. That's crazy. So anyway, guys, I haven't made a video in, uh, well, today's probably like day five. And, um, yeah, every time my shadow crosses over in front of the light, it um, takes everything out of focus. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. But let me get my water ready so I can quench my thirst while I talk because there is a lot of talking involved. Get my phone set up so I can read the chat without having to uh, shoot on over to the computer to um, read it. And basically tonight since... Uh, I haven't gone to the flea market in the last couple of weeks. I figured I'd just do a live and open up some packs with you guys. So we've got a couple. We've got this 87 um, Dunruss rack pack. And uh, we really want to see what's in this one here. And we got some Dunruss pop-ups. We got all kinds. We got an 88 Jumbo and uh, what's that? 89, 87. Um, Clear. Let me get my glasses though. Can't see too well without my glasses. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Those of you that are here. I know there's other people that are live right now. And I am coming on later than usual. But I guess uh, we should just get the rip. And how about this one here? Some 87 score. There's five cards in this pack. It's series 2 um, Pinnacle brand. Look for stand, stand and deliver chase set and contest cards, apparently. So let's do some of this. Got a customer service hotline if you want to call them for any issues. Can get it open without, I have to cut this one. Just because I don't want to damage the cards inside by, you know. Ripping the corner so hard that we'll go this way. We'll cut it. And that's much better. There we go. So we have Mike Bordick. Eh. Billy Ashley. Eh. Todd Stoudemire, son of the late Mel Stoudemire. Moses Alou, son of Maddie Alou, I think, not Felipe. And. Mark Leiter, brother to Al Leiter. Nothing to write home about. All right, let's rip into this 87 um, tops. Obviously, we're going to be looking for the Barry Bonds rookie card in here. I wouldn't look. The gum likes to stick to Lou Pinella card. Yep, that's the stain. Yep, Sweet Lou, 
is even sweeter now because he got gum. He got the sugar, the dextrose. Tom Kelly, Chris Beyer, Andy Allison, Michael Cross. Nope, nope. Donnie Hill, nope. Nope, nope. Bobby Gritch, nope, nope, and nope. Okay, that was a little bit disappointing. Huh, so let's see what's next. You know what? Let's look for Ted Williams. Let's look for Ted Williams autograph in these 92 upper deck. I don't know if they ever had a series number two for this year. I don't remember. I know 91 had a series, like a high number and a low number. don't know if this one had a uh, high number set. All right, Terry Pendleton. There's Warren Gonzalez. People just go nuts over Juan Gonzalez whenever they pulled one of his cards. Brian Hunter. Broke his bat right there. Snapped it off. How about Hall of Famer Tim Raines? There you go. Hall of Famer Tim Raines. That followed up by fan favorite, Mr. Bo Jackson. You want to have both those guys on your team at the same time? And that's going to be it for that. But we pulled out a... Juan Gonzalez, Bo Jackson, and a Tim Raines. All right, let's open up these. Woo-hoo! 91 Fleer Ultra. Not one of your best um, designed cards, but give you a pretty snazzy uh, sticker. Looks like they gave us one of their gold cards, so we'll check that out. Benito Santiago. Dan Opperman. And we got a Kirby Puckett on the gold card. And that is it. Not much to write home there. You know what? Let's do some 97 Pinnacle. Okay. Let's hope they're not too bricked up. Again, these are cards that I've just had packs just sitting around. Like I've got, you know, a thousand packs of cards just sitting around. Hey, uh, Alex, how's it going? Truth, how's it going? No justice cards. You guys just got here. I want to end up uh, one, two, three, four. This is the fifth pack of cards. Let's hope they're not bricked too bad. Nope, they're a little ticky tacky, kind of like a vacuum sealed. But not bad. So we have Troy Percival. Oh, who's this? Spellbound Pudge Rodriguez. These are pretty thick cards. Never seen one of these before. And, oh, well, look at the back. Nice. Lots of shine there. Very nice. Spellbound. Never seen these cards before. The back almost fooled me. It looked like the front of a card. Hey, Hobby Searcher, how's it going? Ah, I'm not sure if Messina is or not. That's a good question. Kevin Elster. There's a Neon Dion. Looking all pretty in his Reds uniform. Hey, there's Pudge himself. In a Rangers uniform. Hall of Famer Pudge. Uh, yep. Wendell McGee. Danny Nagel. Hey, there's a Barry Bonds Aurora. This is an insert card, like a chase card. No, it's got a number like it's part of the base set. So interesting. 192. Must be just a base card. But it's cool. Very nice. Bonds. This is um, Daryl Hamilton and Chipper Jones. There's a nice chipper, though. No justice, but we got a chipper. Very nice. Very nice. A young-looking chipper, too, at that. Look how young he is there. He still kind of looks young, 
even in his old age, he's rocking that goatee, but still, Chipper's still looking looking good and young in his older age. All right, how about some 91 tops traded? Yeah. Baby Chip. This pack is giving me a hard time. There we go. Okay, never heard of uh, Dan Melendez. Heard of Willie McGee. Never heard of Ron Polk, but obviously he's the one of the coaches or manager. <clears throat> heard of Fagozzi. Mike Timlin, yes. Ernie Riles, yes. And Willie Wilson. Um, a dud of a pack. Let's call it what it is. <clears throat> All right, let's see what tins, what, what pins we got in here. It's supposed to be three buttons in each pack. Collect, wear, trade, a full color photos. And they're each numbered. Premier Collector's Issue by Fun Foods. Here's the checklist. Checklist consists of Lamar Hoyt, Tommy John, Dwayne Murphy, Willie Upshaw, Gary Ward, Ron Guidry, Chet Lemon, Aurelio Lopez, Tony Perez, Bill Buckner, Mike Hargrove, Scott McGregor, Dale Murphy, Keith Hernandez, Paul Molitor, Burt Blylevin, Leon Durham, Lee Smith, Nolan Ryan, Harold Baines, Ken Herbeck, Ron Davis, George Bell, Charlie Huff, Phil Nico, Dave Vergetti, Daryl Evans, Cal Ripken Jr., Eddie Murray, Storm Davis, Mike Boddicker, Bob Horner, Chris Chambliss, Ted uh, Simmons. Almost said Ted Williams there. Andre Thornton, Larry Boa, Bob Denier, Joe Nico, Phil's brother, Jose Cruz, Tom Bernanski, Gary Gaetti, Lloyd Mosby, and Frank Tanana. So here we go. Since this is the checklist, we should be a little careful with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually um, snip the wrapper open and preserve the checklist. Don't want a chance on ripping the checklist and destroying it because it is actually part of the set, right? The wrapper is part of the set. All right, so here we go. Who did we get? Rusty Staub. I'm sorry, did I gloss over Rusty Staub? I don't remember reading his name there, but... Uh, well, that's because this is checklist number two. It started out at number 91. So Rusty Staub is number 84. He's on checklist number one. But that's Rusty, if we can get it to focus on old Rusty's head there. It's focusing on the card, so let's do this. There's Rusty. There it is. The focus. There it is. Good old Rusty. And you can guess why they called him Rusty. And we've got a Chet Lemon, who was on checklist number two. There's good old Chet. And the third and final one is Robin Yount, who was not on checklist number two. So he must be lower number. He is number 29, checklist number one. Very nice. Got a Hall of Famer out of that. Not bad. When did tops go from traded to update? Oh, I have no idea. That's a good question. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, thanks for the thumbs up, guys. There you go. Right, well, suggestion to uh, the tops company or someone. Suggest it. Send them a, an email saying, hey, guys, what do you think about this idea? Hell, they might even offer you a job. All right, let's open this one up. I mean, admittedly, yeah, years ago they had some really neat stuff. So these are all-star doubleheader rookie cards and 1989 card. So you get the 89 card plus whatever their rookie card is on the other side. Two baseball cards with one holder. And you can see it's kind of small, guys. It fits in your hand. It's supposed to stand upright. I've, I've opened these up before. We'll go over the checklist for those of you who have not ever seen these. Don Manley, Julio Franco, Wade Boggs, Alan Trammell, Jose Canseco, Mike Greenwell, Will Clark, Ryan Sandberg, Bobby Bonilla, Ozzy Smith, Andre Dawson, Daryl Strawberry, Kirby Puckett, Carlton Fisk, Roger Clemens, Frank Viola, Dennis Eckersley, Mark McGuire, 
Andy Van Slyke, Alan Ashby, Oral Hershiser, Danny Jackson, John Franco, and Kurt Gibson. So that is the checklist. Let's gingerly open these up and see. Oh, you know what? I think it's a strawberry. I, I accidentally saw a Mets, a Mets thing in here. Oh, no. Sorry, Giants. I take that back. It's not. It is Will Clark, the thrill. So there's his rookie card. And we got to remember to save these checklists. And there's his 89 tops. And it stands up. And you can proudly display this on here. You can't see it there because it's not like camera, but it's standing up. You can proudly display this on your desk, your mantle at home, somewhere in your man cave. I think um, Gorilla, Mountain Gorilla, Gorilla family, um, got one from when I sent him the 750 subscriber winner. And it was uh, Daryl Strawberry, I think. I remember correctly. <sighs> How about some 89 tops? So unlike um, a lot of other guys who saved the best for last, I just I'm just I like my dessert first too. So oh, that gum is just destroyed. It it almost looks like ABC gum. If you ever seen ABC gum, it could be ABC gum. Already been chewed, maybe by a rat. I don't know. And of course we have Todd Stolomar, the recipient of all the juicy goodness, and dextrose. The bubblegum has to offer. So let's get into this. We got our advertisement here. We got draft pick Steve Avery, draft pick Jim Abbott, Manny Trio, Doc Gooden. Uh, that's um, Moyer, Jamie Moyer. It is. Rick Roden, Rick Sutcliffe. Uh, Paul O'Neill. Not much to write home about in that one either. But hey, we're moving on. Um, about some uh, 92 uh, Pinnacle Series 1. And it has Cal Ripken on the, on the cover here. I did not go to a flea market today. I opted to stay home and cut down a tree. I cannot tell a lie. I cut down that cherry tree. So we start off with the Eck, Dennis Eckersley. Hall of Famer. Little, little tackiness, but it's more like a vacuum. It's not like tacky. There's Sheffield. Nice Sheffield. There's a very young-looking Manny before he became all dreaded and roided up. There's Dale Murphy in a Sillies uniform. Uh, Mark Grace, looking graceful as ever. Mill Hall. And uh, this must be Pudge Rodriguez night because how many Pudges have we pulled already? Several. Hey, Stash, how's it going? Okay, hold on. Let me give um, give you your um, administrator privileges so you can um, list your YouTube channels. Now, guys, one thing I wanted to start doing on this channel, third time around, how's it going? So I didn't even see you come in. Here you go, third time. You're now a moderator. Please feel free to post your YouTube channels here. And what I wanted to start doing on this channel, guys, and I, I thought about just going live and just having a discussion about this. So I've been, you know, we all go around the YouTube um, uh, channels and we check stuff out. Well, a year or so ago, I signed up. I followed um this guy and some of you guys may follow him i don't know it's his, his name is like g 
James Gippy Gipp. I don't know. Have any of you guys ever heard of him? He doesn't do baseball cards. He doesn't do much of anything but promote his channel and other people's channels. So what what he does is he'll just give them shout outs on his in his stream and stuff like that and post their post their um yeah gippy gip there you go and i watched him grow from like no kidding under a thousand subscribers to like eleven thousand subscribers in a year guys and all he's doing is is like he's a redneck okay i mean in, in my opinion he's just a good old boy redneck um and him and his buddies get on there and um, they don't get all drunk up or smoked up or anything like that, but they just talk whatever, right? And but they promote people's channels on their channel. So like, hey, if you sub to me, right? I'm going to promote your channel, right? I'm going to give you shout outs and I'm going to do all this for you, right? I'm going to do it a different way. I want to do it a different way, and by giving everyone administrator privileges on the channel. Number one, we're getting around the YouTube thing of, of having to always look everybody up ourselves now you can post your stuff when you come in my channel and i'm trusting everyone i'm trusting you guys to do the right thing and not be jackasses and nobody has been yet to this point i i have been reported once by someone i don't know whatever i got reported one time by someone for something and my video was pulled down um but um it was actually it was a live recording that Never got posted. It was just I got my warning, got slapped. They actually shut me down midstream, right? So, guys, um, and you guys that are regulars here, no, feel free. You have administrative privileges to link your YouTube channels so that everyone in the stream, I would appreciate it, they would appreciate it, and you would appreciate it. If everyone would go over and make sure you subscribe to that person. I want to help everyone grow their channels. We're the little guys, all right? We're not going to be able to rely on these bigger guys to pr promote us because they're too busy with their channels. They're growing, they're bigger, and they don't have time for the little guys for the most part. So it's up to us to help each other grow our own channels and be a community, all right? So that's what I want to do. I want to just... Number one, it's going to help me. It's going to help you if we just kind of start getting more people involved in this type of stuff. When you go to their channel, spread the word. Hey, guys, go check this person out. Sub them up. They have privileges. You know, link your link your channel now. Everyone on the channel, go ahead and sub them up. Just do it. Just do it. It doesn't cost you anything to just go push that button and subscribe. Nothing. It doesn't cost you a single cent. So why not do it? That's what I'm saying. Field guy, hold on. How's it going? Reading lots of good packs there. Well, field guy, guess what? You're getting, you're getting promoted. All right. So there you go. I'm gonna tell you just like I told everyone else. Feel free, field guy, to link your YouTube channel and anybody here that's not subscribed to field guy, please go over and subscribe. So, Again, like I said, it doesn't cost you a dime. It doesn't cost you a nickel. It doesn't cost you a penny. Just go sub them up. Make sure you watch a video. You give them the thumbs up, right? You like it. And then go back another time and, and you know, make it stick. All right? And if you guys know Donald Blumdahl, he went from being a little guy too to where he's at now. He's not super duper big, but he's got his thousand subscribers and he's doing fairly well for his channel. He met that goal. That he set for himself of a thousand subscriber and that's kind of the goal that we all want we all want to be able to stream live on our phones without having to use a third party um you know third party system hold on hey sam how's it going there you go sam you got the wrench feel free to link your youtube channel so that everyone here who doesn't know sam sam is it new i met sam uh, just jump around the channel. Some of you guys already may know him. I and I met um, um, another guy from watching Sam. Sam said when he shut down his live stream that he was going to go over to someone else's channel. And right now it's not coming to the top of my head, but I um, I subscribed to that uh, other channel. It turns out that I bought some cards off of him the other day on his auction, 
And when he got my address, he goes, oh, I don't live that far from you. So. So you have the thousand. All right. So field guy here, I'm going to give you some help on that. Do some live streams. All right. So if you do a three hour live stream and it depends on how many people are in your three hour, but you can get, you know, 10 hours worth of view time with five or six people in your, your live stream, just so you know. And guys, believe that thumbs up, that thumbs up helps the, uh, the creator out. It tells YouTube that people enjoy this video, this content, and that it will recommend my stuff to everyone, not just you guys who are subscribed to me, but it gets the word out to other people who have never heard of my channel, guys who have never heard of Field Guy, guys that never heard of Sam. You know what I'm saying, guys? So the thumbs up helps YouTube figure that out. Also, I put out some videos, guys, that, that, that if you go back and watch them, and I'm not doing it for view time or anything like that. I did it as a public service announcement for everyone because a lot of people don't know about this. But when you do your when you do your um, videos, make sure you do at least 20 tags, 20 minimum. All right. And make your titles as long as you can and make them be relevant to your subject. All right. Um, and descriptions. You know, be very descriptive in your description. Be wide ranging in your, your, your tags. Like you can tag FLIR. You can tag TOPS. Dunruss, which is Panini now. So you can do Panini. You can do Bowman. You know, I do all the cards that I put on, on my screen. I do on there. I do MLB because they're MLB licensed. I do, um, um, believe it or not, baseball cards are like okay. But you put sports cards is higher rated than just baseball cards. So I always put sports cards. If you guys check my descriptions out, um, you'll see like a bunch of stuff. And I can see that because I, I bought this one program. I can check out each one of you guys' channels while I'm over there. I can see how well you set your thing up. You know what I mean? How well your tags are doing. How well your title's doing. If it's too short, if it's mostly it's going to tell me if it's too short. If your description is too short, got to have a nice description, a paragraph. Put some stuff in there. Put content in there, you know, whether you're going to give shout outs to people, whatever. Anyway, I don't want to bore you guys with all that. We did come here to see baseball cards. So let's get to ripping some more cards. How about some 90 Bowman guys? Now, I just recently found out that there's a Frank Thomas error card in the 90 Bowman. And the error card is it's got uh, the wrong back on it. It's got uh, who's on the back. And you guys have got this card, the error card. Um, yell it out. I forget who's on the back. But it's got the wrong player name on the back. So that gum is intact, but. I'm not going to eat it. All right. So we've got the Yount, like Bowman-esque looking 50s Bowman card. Carlton Fisk, the original Pudge, by the way. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Can't take that away from him ever. Oh, Greg Maddox. This is a nice pack. Three, three Hall of Famer cards and a Hall of Famer cartoon card. Not bad. And then it dies just like that. So that's that. How about some 93 Series 1 Dunruss? Hey, Urban Card Break, hold on. Welcome to the stream. Um, oh, I keep doing that every time. Urban, you have moderator privileges. Go ahead and feel free to link your YouTube channel. Again, guys, feel free to link your channels. Um, actually, I have not seen anyone link their own channels, but um, feel free to do it. It's there. That's why you have the privileges to do it. And anyone that's not subscribed to Urban, go check him out. Sub him up. All right, so Donnie Baseball, he is safe. Good job, Donnie. Pedro's brother, Ramon. And there's Pedro himself. Very nice. I believe that's a rookie card. It is Pedro. 
Now, Pedro is my nemesis, by the way, guys. Pedro and I do not see eye to eye. And it goes back to his days in the AAA system when he was in the Dodgers AAA system. And he refused to sign autographs for me and my kids. Uh, dingleberry. If you guys don't know what a dingleberry is, you're going to have to look that up. I'm not going to say what it is on my channel. All right, so how about some Series 2 from um, 90... No, this is Series 1. Oh, this is from a different year. 92, that was 93. Sorry. Getting confused. I thought he had a 90... Series 2 here, I guess not. Oh, yeah, I do. Right there it is. There it is. I thought I did. So these again, guys, you just getting... These, I've got, like, tons of packs just sitting around unopened. Um, and these are all turned the right way. Well, what do you know? And so, I haven't done a video in like four days. Today would be day five if I didn't put out a video. So, I figured I'd better do it or I'll stop being relevant and people will forget about my channel. There's Rob Me Out. Randy Reddy. And that is it. Wow. Rob Me Out. And then I have to start all over again. I'll start losing subscribers like I had been there for a while. I think we've all been through that, though, where you've had a certain peak and then it backtracked on it it backslid a little bit but i've gained traction again and uh yeah i've maintained over 800 uh, subscribers which is nice it's a good thing there's larry walker I believe that's his rookie card no it's not second year looks very young though second year walker Oh, see, his helmet looks funny, but he's fouling the ball off. That's the ball. It's hard to see unless the camera focuses. The ball is right there on the white of his uh, helmet. Interesting foul ball. And uh, Eric Davis. Man, a lot of duddy, dud, dud packs tonight. Guess I should have left them in the stack. All right, let's get to Series 2. Why not? These are not bricked up, which is nice. Check the chat. There you go, Sam. Thank you for listing your channel. Get these out of here. Randy Valverde, Reggie Sanders, Mike Stanton, the, wrong, the other Mike Stanton. Hey, we got a Joe Carter. Looks like Carter's going to save this pack. Benito Santiago. Yeah, Joe Carter, thank you for saving that pack for us. Unless you're a Phillies fan, then you hate the pack even more, right? Unless your name is Mitch Williams, you hate it even more. Uh, let's see. Bill Swift. We're going to be flipping. And twisting. There's a Michael Jack Schmidt. That is number 20. Uh, matches his uniform number. Mike Schmidt retires. Boom. Mike Stan again. The other Mike Stan. Look, Greg Maddox fielding his pitch is a uh, position off the mound. Boom. Chucking it over there. Very nice. Greg Maddox. Rance, Rance Mullenix, Roberto Kelly, and Andy McGaff again. Well, thank you, Greg Maddox, for saving that pack. How about this? I've opened these up before on the channel, but so these are they're, they're the you know little cards. Uh, they're like the league leader packs and stuff like that. But these are made in Ireland. Four tops, but they're made in Ireland, which is part of the UK. So let's see. It says right there in the print. If it ever focuses, there you go. Oops. It says made by Tops Ireland Limited right there under the flap. So I saw these uh, a year ago. I said, man, I got to pick them up because curiosity. Now, I thought they were full-size cards. They weren't, but it's all right. It's all good. You still don't see a lot of these anywhere. 
Uh, I didn't check it. Ozzy Gion, Wally Joyner, Bruce Hurst, Hubie Brooks, and thank goodness Andre Dawson came along to save that pot. And the Atlanta Braves sticker. That came out of the upper deck. All right, so now we got some Fleer All Star stickers from 1987. Let's see, who do we have here? Well, we've got the Padres and the Braves. And the real one we're looking for is Burt Blylevin, Hall of Famer. Lance McCullers Sr. now. Paul Molidor. Hall of Famer. And, oh, look at that, Ozzie Smith. I've never seen this one before. So that's pretty cool. Ozzy in the uh, batter circle, the on-deck circle, I guess you want to call it. Yeah. Very nice. There's the backs of these cards. So the regular cards, the backs are blue and the fronts are blue. And these just happen to be cool cards. I like these, the FLIR stickers. They've always been pretty neat. And that's why we have several more to open up. So how about some 88... Fleer baseball stickers. Now, I've never, like, taken these apart, the stickers, to see if there's anything behind here. Here's a Dodger sticker with a picture of Dodger Stadium. Julio Franco. Hey, Andre Dawson again. Long time no see, Andre. Thanks for showing up. You see, I think you saved this pack. Nope, Roger Clemens did a pretty good job, too, of saving this pack. So there's Roger. Hey, Cornette Collections, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, no, I don't have the Spiral of Death, do we? Oh, just gave me the old Spiral of Death. Hopefully Big Brother YouTube is not trying to shut me down here. Uh, we've got some, I think these are like 89 for you. I'm not sure. That's it. So, oh, they look older than that, so maybe they're 85s. Nap Napoleon Lejo, Le Nap Lejo hit 422 in 1901. Nap Lejo. There's Ozzy Gian. Dave Parker, Von Hayes, and Reggie Jackson. Nice, nice pack. Got to admit it. And there's the back. And these are from 86. So, yes, these are older. 86, 87, and 88 flare stickers. Very nice. I love the Reggie. And the Parker's not bad either. Let's see. I don't even really know how my thing's doing, if I'm doing well or not. There you go. Truth got it. Truth saw the Reggie, so I must not be um, beach balling it for you guys. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, guys, if you don't mind, that'd be great. If you enjoy it, and if you don't enjoy it, you know, then you don't have to. All right, I know you guys have been waiting for this one here, and I I could sense it. Just the, uh, the anticipation in the room was, uh, you know, getting to be too much. So we're going to do these 90 Fleer. Get it over with. You had some dessert first. Now you got to have the uh, the veggies. I don't know. These aren't the ones. What do you want? We wanted... I don't have them. Never mind. I don't have the dreaded 91 flares. That's what we don't want. Yeah, 90 flare. Gubaza. I actually like these. These are not bad. Put the banners on the bottom. There's Rance Mullenix again. Checklist upside down. Uh, Lee Smith saved it, even though he's off-center. Lee Smith, thank you for saving that pack for us. All right. Since we're into the dirty stuff, and our hands are already dirty with Dunruss, let's do some more dirty Dunruss stuff. Paul 
puzzle is, I believe it's Warren Spawn. Yes, it is Warren Spawn. Now, to be honest with you, I don't really care for these borders too much, but still has a lot of Hall of Famers in this set. So there's one MVP. Ozzy Smith. Mickey Hatcher has a donut on his bat at that time, not a um, giant baseball glove. And that is it. Wow. Thank you, Ozzy, for saving that pack. All right. Dirty Dunruss Deeds, number three. Number two, whatever it is. We're done rusting it up. Do we have any more done rust? We do, but Stan the Man Musual is the puzzle piece. All right, Vance Law, Darling, Steve Balboni, Charlie Paleo, Rob Thompson. A hey, Cal Ripken MVP card. Thank you, Cal, for saving this. There's the back of these, by the way. And Harold Baines sneaking in there on the Hall of Fame side of the pack of cards. And that is it, guys. So another one down. All right. Never fear. 91 Fleer is here. All right. We're going to do the, what is 93 Fleer, though? We're going to do Roger Clemens career highlights cards and his 92 Fleer. Well, we don't have any Clemens because it would be a black border and you'd be able to see it. So, don't look for Clemens. Inserts. Dave Winfield. That's all scratched up. It's fresh in the pack. And we got all the scratches up there. All along the top. The whole card must have fell on the floor and the guy stepped on it and picked it up and threw it on the assembly line. They be packaged up. Roger Clemens. Well, there's our Clemens, just not one of the chase cards. So Roger Clemens, Dave Winfield to save that one. Thank you for that. And you know what? How about some 99 Bowman Series One? Randomly inserted um, Ben Grieve or Kerry Wood. Autographs in these packs. It'd be great to pull one of them. Carry Wood, I would like to have over the Ben Brief, but chances are we're not going to get either. So, Ryan Anderson and Jim Edmonds. Mammont Tucker, never heard of you, sorry. Jose Cruz Jr. Fernando. Yeah, whatever. Scott Earlton. Jared Sandberg. I wonder if he's related to um, Ryan Sandberg. Victor Valen Valencia. Okay. There's a Hall of Famer. John Smoltz saving that one. Armando Rios is our foil card. And there's our checklist card, which is not a card, it's paper. Why they did that, I don't know. We'll put that with the checklist over here. A weird checklist. We're going to put Smoltz with the Hall of Famers. And that's about it for that. We got a nice foil card, but it's of nobody. So that's that. How about some Series 2 Top Stadium Club from 94? 12 Super Premium Baseball cards in each pack. If there were, if it were me ripping that pack, I'd pull a redemption. <laughs> Yeah, so they might have been redemptions. You're right. They may not have been um, just inserts. They could have been all redemptions, and that would be even worse, right? An expired redemption. What good is that? It's like pulling the re re a, an expired redemption out of one of the yak packs, which I've seen John and others do. Jose Offerman. First, let's check for sticking. Oh, not bad. Just a little... Techy tackiness, we'll say. Mark Lemke, Chris Donalds, Roger Salkhead, Lou Frazier, Jack Voigt, 
Brian McRae, Hal's son, I believe. Hal McRae's son. Miguel Jimenez. Now, believe it or not, guys, these cards are numbered too. So if you think you have the complete set, unless you have all seven of these, you don't have the complete set. Mark Langston. That's like a subset, I guess. John Valentin. And where's our foil card? Our Mark Davis. So this must be our silver foil. It is gold foil. Jeff Kent. Very nice. No Hall of Famers. Few packs left, guys. 91 clear. These are the dreaded yellow ones, right? Come on, Justice. I don't know if we're going to see Justice tonight. We're running out of packs. All right, dreaded yellows. We get three logo stickers with team leaders on the back. Daryl Boston, Mike Greenwell. Harold Baines again. Oh, well, look at that. We got a Conseco All Star card. Very nice. Very nice. Card number eight, I guess. Doesn't say eight of whatever, just says eight. Don't know how many there are, but it's a cool card. Yellow Justice, here we go. Okay. Molitor, very nice. P. Smith, Strawberry, Lions. Gullickson. No justice. Not even a yellow border justice. There's just no justice, is there? All right, let's open up this pop-ups, puzzle cards, and like these big old cards featuring the Roberto Clemente puzzle. Now, I've never popped any of these up. I've never stood them up. John would appreciate it, though. Like, they're, they're hangers. They're rack, like, you know, hanger things, hanger packs, and it's unpunched. I think John Jabs would appreciate that. Not now that I'm opening it, though, because now it's, like, not pristine anymore. I know how he likes things that are even unpunched, never been hung on the racks or anything. This is fresh out of the box. All right, so we got our little pop-up card, and it's not little. It's pretty big. It's Daryl Strawberry, and I believe that's, like, the Houston Astrodome, the old Astrodome. I think I'm not sure. I'm not, I probably shouldn't even say. But All Star Game, where was it played in '86? That'll tell you where it was taken. That supposedly. All right, we got Jim Presley, John Franco, and Lance Parrish, and there's our Clemente puzzle piece. Nothing important there to write home about. All right, you guys want to see who the, the heads up baseball star is? I am. I can't wait to dig into this one. Hey, Chris Bolton, how's it going? All right, so the checklist reads like this Tony Gwynn, Will Clark, Doc Gooden, Dennis Eckersley, Ken Griffey Jr., that'd be nice to pull one out. Craig Biggio, Brett Sabering, Bo Jackson. Ryan Sandberg, Greg Olson, John Franco, Raphael Palmero, Gary Sheffield, Mark McGuire, Kevin Mitchell, Jim Abbott, Harold Reynolds, Reynolds, sorry, uh, Jose Canseco, Don Matting, that would be a nice one to get, Kirby Puckett, Tom Gordon, Greg Worthington, Dwight Smith, and Jerome Wong. So we're probably going to pick one of the bottom four, Gordon, Worthington, Smith, or Walton. What do you guys think? Out of that checklist, who do you think is going to pop up? I'll hold it up here for a second, guys. You're saying Griffey. Urban says Griffey. Ken Seiko from Chris Bowen. Of course you would say that, Chris. Were you in the chat, Chris, when I uh, pulled this one out of a jumbo pack? 91 Fleer. Pretty awesome. A few guys says Saberhagen. 
Yeah, okay. Anyway, all right, so here we go. We're going to find out who exactly is going to be in this. Heads up, wrapper. Collect all 24, by the way, guys. So uh, tops uh, in Duryea, PA, but made in Taiwan. Oh, my God. Too bad the front's all buggered up. Like this was stuck on the glue inside the box or something, I guess. Well, we're going to preserve the checklist, of course. So we're going to see if we can just cut it on the bottom. I don't think we can. Don't think it can be done. It cannot be done. They glued it up pretty good. I'll give them that. Collect all 24. So I'm just going to snip it along the very bottom edge. And hopefully that'll get me through the glue and not through the card. All right. Here we go. Did not get through the glue. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. Now let's hope we don't wreck the checklist. Be very careful peeling. Of course, it's like 90 degrees in here, so this room I'm in, no, haven't turned the air on. Should I turn it around to a slow reveal? No, that's a dead giveaway. Dang it. Because it shows, well, I guess not a dead giveaway. All right, ready? I'll let you see the top. So it's a New York Met. Who's it going to be? How many Mets are on here? I guess um, only one. Yeah, only one met. So it's a giveaway. Doc Gooden. Yep, it's the Doc. Doc Gooden, Mr. Smiley himself. Peel off tape, remove suction cup to stick on other surfaces. Number three of 24. Dwight Gooden. I did open up one of these other ones before. I bought a whole box of them. I did open one before. I forget who I got. Oh, you know what? Good news is, it's right. Oh, it's not opened up. Well, ow, that was my head on the camera. But we have another one here, guys. I think we should open this one, too. So, we got Doc Good. Who do you think is in this one, guys? Second chance at redemption. All right, if, and if you guess it right, I'll, I'll, I'll mail it to you. I'll send it to you if you guess it right. Now, there's a big checklist here. There's 24 names. So I'll let you guys look at it. Urban still wants that Griffey. I know Chris wants um, Canseco. Oh, Steve Griffin, Griffith says Canseco. Hold on. I'll let that there. I know it's a little far away. But, Steve, welcome to the channel. Um, oh, the wrong one. Hold on. All right, Steve, you've got moderator privileges to go ahead and link your YouTube channel if you have one here and you want to share it with us and try to pick up some subscribers. And that's kind of what this channel is going to be about too, guys, is uh, self-promotion of everyone that comes in this channel. I want to help everyone grow their channel. Just link your YouTube channels and we're going to try to grow. As fast as we can, everyone that gets in here gets the chance to link their channels, and everyone's in here at that time can go over and subscribe to them. Let's see. John's Arcade Cards and more. Hello, all, hello to all, and I hope all is well. All is well, Johns. Thanks for stopping by. Um, you have um, moderator privileges to go ahead and link your YouTube channel. I know I'm taking a risk by giving everybody these privileges and... and but we're on an honor system here, guys. And um, the reason you get moderator privileges is to link your YouTube channel so that we can help you grow. We all have goals. We all want to, you know, reach our goals of at least a minimum a thousand subscribers is what most of us are looking for here. All right. So Tony Gwynn. All right. So Alex is calling Tony Gwynn. Um, feel guys. Um, Saberhagen, we got Pocket, we got Kinseko, we got Griffey. Uh, any other guesses that I may have missed? 
I don't think so. I think we started with. Yeah, we started with that. All right. Anyone else want to get in on this? Free giveaway, if you guessed it right. And I know there's a lot here. And no one's picking Jerome Walton or Dwight Smith or Craig Worthington or Tom Gordon or Harold Reynolds or Kevin Mitchell or Palmero or Franco or Olsen. Someone did pick Saberhagen. I'm a little surprised at that over even a Bo Jackson. Um, we've already had one um, Doc Gooden. All right. So here we go. No problem, John. You're welcome. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see if we're right. Oh, this one's really not glued all well. That's good. Made it easier. It saved the... Uh... All right. Ready for the reveal? Uh... Okay. I'll tell you right now. An Abbott. Okay. Um, Walton was a Brewer's card for forever. Nope. All right. I'm telling you. All those guesses were wrong so far. Everyone's guess was wrong. So... Brewers Cards Forever. All right, Brewers Cards, welcome to the channel. You have moderator privileges. Feel free to link your YouTube channel so that we can try to pick you up other subscribers. Feel free to go over and subscribe to anyone else also. Guys, don't forget to link your YouTube channels, please. Um, again, some of these guys are, are newer here, and maybe they haven't seen your channel. That's how I've been picking up new channels. So all your guesses were wrong. You didn't do anything. You just joined the channel, and we're going to try to reward you with more subscribers. Um, so uh, the Griffey wasn't right. The Saberhagen wasn't right. Um, who else? Abbott wasn't right. Conseco wasn't right. Someone guessed Pocket wasn't right. So it's someone else other than those guys. So we got a Will Clark guess. If you get it right, I'm going to send this to you. You have to just send me your information, and I'll send it to you. Oh, I'll hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was wrong. I was wrong. Hold on. I was wrong. Uh, we did have a winner. And the winner was, is, I'm sorry, guys, I screwed that up. It was, I think Truth guessed it, when he said Saberhagen. Oh, Field Guy said Saberhagen. Field Guy, you won. I am sorry. I looked at this wrong, guys. It is Brett Saberhagen. So, Field Guy, you win. Send me your information. I'll link my, YouTube, my uh, email. Send me your information. I'm sorry, guys. I totally blew that one, didn't I? Um, Field Guy. Field guy wins. So here's my. All right. So there's my email. Um, so just send me an email and I'll get this off to you um, in a day or two. All right. So let's get back to opening up the rest of these cards because I know you guys are dying to see what's in that 87 Dunrush rack pack. Let's open up this. There are 28 cards and two stickers and this clear. There we go. 88 clear. All right, so here we go. Andy Van Slyke checklist. Jamie Quirk. There's a Hall of Famer, Jim Rice. Very nice. Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer. And a Cubs uniform. So he was up and down, up and down a couple of times. I don't know if this is considered his rookie card or not. Because he did play, he was 4-2 the in 86. 87, he was 6-14. and 14. Not much support there, run support. How about a Cal Ripken Jr.? Very nice. Very nice Cal Ripken. Eckersley. 
That's a pretty good pack so far. Let's not cool off yet with these rookies. No way. David Cohn. Look at Takavi. Like, look at him over there. Who cares if I look like a turtle? My face looks like a turtle. Uh, there's two Hall of Famers there. Masters of the Double Play. Ozzy Smith and Ryan Sandberg. Not bad. Some people really like Sid Bream, too. But we pulled down a lot of nice cards there. Very nice. Rice, Ripken, Maddox, Eckersley, Sandberg, and Smith. So now I, I ordered two boxes of this stuff, I believe. Didn't come yesterday. It was OPT, though. Get the gum out. Thank goodness they put the gum on an advertisement piece. So it didn't ruin a real card. I ordered two boxes of this in OPT. So it's supposed to be coming now next week. So what do we got? Another Uribe card. Alfredo Griffin. Davy Lopes. There's Joe Carter and Corey Snyder. Another Andre Dawson card to save the day. Record breakers from Benito Santiago. Two Royals back to back in the pack. Kevin McReynolds. Two Tigers back to back in the pack. Something's going on here. Something's going on is that I'm not getting any Hall of Famers. Look at that. Not one Hall of Famer. How many athletics are in this pack? One. Oh, only two. Royals, Mets, Tigers, Tigers, Phillies. Two Phillies. Two Tigers. Three Tigers. Athletics. Not a very good pack. All right, now we're to the 87 Dunruss Rack Pack. They were pretty smart about this. They hid the back card. So you can't see. You can't like pack search the whole pack. You got to just kind of look at the front. And that's it. You can't figure out the back. John's Arcade. Not looking for subs. But here's my channel. Got arcade vids and card vids. Thanks to all. Okay. Thanks, John. Appreciate that. Again, at least on this channel, you don't have to pay for uh, promoting your channel, you know. Just put it up there and we'll try to get you get you guys going. Again, I talked about this this other uh, YouTuber who doesn't do baseball cards, uh, Gippy Gip. And he went from like nowhere to like 11,000 subscribers in like a year, guys. No kidding. Uh, when he started his channel, but from the time I started watching, I think he was under a thousand. So I'm not sure, but he went from like ten thousand to eleven thousand in like a week. It was ridiculous. I don't know what he's doing over there, but love all eighty-seven cards. Says Criterion Man uh, Racer. Blah, blah, blah. All right, Traveler, Zebra, Bichel, Higuera, Royster, Gonzalez, Ed Lynch. Mookie Wilson, Dave Schmidt, and Kurt Gibson was the only good card in that stack. Greg's brother, Mike. There's Corey Snyder. David Martinez, Rick Roden, Jesse Orozco. Oil Can. Jeez, I don't know. Who saved that pack? No one. How about a Tim Stoddard? Oh, we got some rated rookies coming up. And that's it. Only two. Don Madley, Ted Simmons. Pack has just been saved. Thank you, Donnie Baseball. Charlie Huff. Can you imagine if Charlie Huff was a guy that had to save like he was the best card in the pack? Charlie Huff. Oh, my goodness. So we've got a Hall of Famer and a should be Hall of Famer. Setterings off a little bit. Left to right. 
But, oh, Ted Lyle Simmons. His middle name is Lyle. His car is pretty pretty centered, except top to bottom it's off. So, very hard to get a 10. Um, but, anyway, let's see. What have I added? I haven't put them in the, um, the error book yet. But I, you know, some of you guys who've been here a while, you know, I've been working on an error binder as I find them. I um, so I found another Jack Morris. I don't know why Jerry Kuzman's in this. Oh, I know why Kuzman's in there. Maddox. All right, so some of these I did show in my, one of my last videos or in the past video, and I, I haven't put them in the binder yet. Some of them you guys may have seen before. but So uh, Ben McDonald card, um, one has the foil stamping. This one has no foil stamping. It's got um, Ron Karkovice name stamped upside down on his head. It should be at the bottom. And somehow it went through the machine and got spun around. And got stamped carcavice upside down on the guy's face. The backs are okay. Just that front. Um, I've had like quite a few of these Jack Morris where the black line goes through the J and Jack. That's the error. Found another one of these. It was the Ricky Henderson Lou Brock um, stolen base leader. The date's missing like May 1st. Uh, 1991 is missing from that card. Hey, Jason, how's it going? Um, this is Randy Johnson, but it's just the black background. I have to dig into my boxes. I know I have some that have a little bit of coloring. There's like a like an orangish background, and there's a greenish background. I don't know if there's any with the Marlboro. This one is supposed to be a gold foil card. With his name in cursive down here. And there's just nothing. It's just brewers and that. So it missed the gold stamping on that. Should be stamping tops gold up here somewhere, I believe. Not. Thanks, Alex. This is a um, 94 Fleer Ultra. 96 Fleer Ultra. Sorry. And it's a promo card. You guys know I've been saving promo cards and putting them in my uh, binder as well so again some of these may have been in, in another video this one got like no foil stamping at all either so it's supposed to say you know his name down here and dunross there and i don't know maybe his position over under here picture or whatever i don't know but mark poor mark didn't make the cut they ran out of gold ink whatever and here's another Jack Morris with the line through the J. And this, I'm like, why did I pick out this Kuzman card? What is so special about this Kuzman? And then I roll it over, and it says for promotional uses only. So it goes in the book with the promo cards. So <clears throat> I've been working on that. And they need to be put in the binder, so I'll do that right after this video. And I think that's about it. I need a I need a drink. Um, whoops, dropped out. Unless you guys want to see something else, I have no weekend recap because I didn't didn't do flea market Saturday, and I didn't do flea market Sunday either. Oh, let's see what do I have. Um, I don't even know if I posted the video from the last purchase I made from from Art. Oh, I don't forget how many cards it was, but anyway, his one friend sold me. Who he must be a breaker. He sold me a thirty-two hundred count box of 
2020 Tops Series 1 uh, for 25 bucks. Um, supposed to be all commons. You know, I knew that going in. Here's the box. I finished going through it. Um, thanks for the thumbs up, guys, by the way. So I finished going it. Now, these are all in numerical order. And I came up like seven cards shy of having three complete base sets. So, not bad. Seven, right, there's one, two, three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight cards short. So eight cards short of the base set. Now I didn't they didn't go through the check and see what cards I was missing, but I mean I mean there's trouts in here, right? I mean so I just gotta I haven't gone through like uh sotos and judges rundowns rundowns again Torres you know so but like card 20 was missing so that was obviously i think that was a big name um don't know who it was i haven't gone through the check but there's a cunha juniors in here you know um <clears throat> not all the big names were taken out but definitely all the inserts or um you know material cards uh, um autographs stuff like that and the only thing that was left that was kind of was this foil card was left in here from Santander, Anthony Santander. Um, this uh, Indians team card, which is numbered 188 out of 2020, was left in their box. And <clears throat> these two cards, Tops Now cards, were left there. And that's it. Everything else was kind of just the base set. So not bad, though. I mean, for 25 bucks, I came. And they're the same eight cards for three complete sets. So I can go out and buy the, the, the eight missing cards. And I have three complete sets for, you know, 25 bucks plus whatever it costs for the uh, 24 missing cards that I need. Not bad. Uh, let's see. What else can I do? What else you guys want to see? You know what? We can open up a couple of these. You guys have probably never seen these before. I've only seen them once before. And the ones I have in my collection, they're fragile. They're embossed. It's hard to see, but they're embossed. They stick up kind of like the, uh, the, uh, action-packed cards, right? The ones that are kind of um, where they stick out. I bought this box, and I think it was, I paid like 30 bucks for it, I guess. Who's on the checklist? Mike Schmidt, Eddie Murray, Dale Murphy, George Brett, Gary Carter, Jim Rice, Ryan Sandberg, Darrow, um, Don Mattingly, Daryl Strawberry, Ricker Henderson, Keith Hernandez, Dave Kingman, Tony Gwynn, Reggie Jackson, Pete Rose, Cal Ripken, Tim Raines, Dave Winfield, Dwight Gooden, Dave Steeb, Fernando Valenzuela, Mark Langston, Bruce Souter, Dan Quisenberry, Steve Carlton, Mike Boddicker, Goose Gossage, Jack Morris, Rick Sutcliffe, and Tom Seaver. There's 30 cards on here. 30 cards in this set. And how many packs come in the uh, how many packs come in the box? Made in Taiwan too, just like the other big uh, cards were. Nineteen eighty-five, Taiwan doesn't say how many come in the box. Oh well, it says right there though. Four of 30. There's 30. Well, how many come in the box? That doesn't help me. That tells me how many cards are in the set. All right. Got to be more than 30 in here. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Nope, there's only 24. Only 24. So if you guys want to guess at who's going to be in this pack, um, I'll send it to you. Whoever gets it right off of this checklist. Um, let's see if we can get the camera down to the checklist. Hold on for the shakiness. It might be a little earthquakey. And it may not focus. Hold on. Focus, damn you. All right, so there's the list. You guys want to take a guess real quick? Feel free. Whoever gets it right gets the card. Okay. You know what? If it's quicker just to put the guy's number down, like corresponding card number, 1 through 30, whatever. whatever you got, however you guys want to do it. Robin Yount. Uh... Did I read his name off? No yount on the list. Let me move it. This way to try to get rid of some of that it takes it off the screen. Nolan Ryan, yeah. There's no Ryan in the set. I don't see his name anywhere either. That kind of usual. Okay, Truth wants... Um, uh, Griffin wants 27, who is Goose. Going for the Goose. Woo. Jay wants uh, Tony Gwynn. Dale Murphy. Urban wants 21, who is Mike. No, we're going the wrong way. Fernando Valenzuela. Ooh. And Jason wants George Brett. Anyone else want to try to guess? There's 14 people in here. Um, one, two, three. Only four guesses. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to open it up. We'll see which one of you guys gets it. So let's put it this way. God, we got Cal Ripken. Um, Fernando was already picked. Fernando was picked by Urban. I was just guessing who's going to be in this pack out of this checklist, Adam. Whoever guesses it right gets it. I'll send it to you. Just send me your information. I'll put my in, um, information down. Now, by the way, uh, Adam, you have moderator privileges. You can go ahead and feel free to list your YouTube channel. All right, so let's go. I'm going to put my email again. That's my email, guys. If whoever the winner is can send me an email. 31, the checklist. Someone wants the wrapper. Jason wants the wrapper. Uh, the wrapper will be sent with the card. All right, so we got... Gooden, we've got Reggie Jackson, okay. Um, we got uh, Valenzuela, I guess. All right, here we go. I'll just roll back and see who who uh, won. From Tony Gwynn on down. From Jay's guess on down. Here we go. Trying to be careful to... Save the wrapper slash checklist. Not wreck it. This it is part of the, the card, right? All right, let's hope this is in good shape, guys. Who's it going to be? Well, there's the bottom. Ah, you know what? It might be Doc Gooden. Are those Mets pinstripes there? Can we? No, it's not. It's not Doc Gooden. 
I gotta I gotta hide this or you guys will guess it right away. That's the team logo. All right, here it goes. I believe Alex, you won. Tony Gwynn. Very nice. Tony Gwynn. His face doesn't look quite right, but that's a shadow, actually. All right, let's get this out of here so we can get a little bit further back. The shadow is making his face look kind of funny, but we get rid of that shadow, which we can't get rid of because... There you go. Looks a little bit better. That shadow's messing up his face. All right. So, Alex, you guessed Tony Gwynn. Lucky number 13. I got to put your name on this so I know who, who won what. All right. Very nice. All right. So, put Alex on that. And the other one was Field Guy. Uh, didn't you guess, Alex? Didn't you guess um, Tony Gwynn? So Alex gets that one. And this goes to Field Guy. We've got the Field Guy guess this one. Brett Saberhagen. Who would have guessed? I wouldn't have guessed Brett Saberhagen in a million years, but Field Guy had a had a hunch, and he played his hunch. All right. So we're going to do another one, guys. We're going to do another one. But this time, we're not pulling off the top. We're going to the bottom, and we're going to go to the bottom left. Very bottom left card. Oh, great. I shouldn't have done that. Now they're going to be impossible to get back together. Rip the box and everything. Oh my goodness. There we go. Then I rip the box. All right, we're going to do another one. Why not? So, there's the checklist again. If you're feeling froggy and you think you can guess it right. I know it's going to be a little hard to see, so let me see if I can shield it. There you go. I don't know if that made it better or worse. You can just put the, the number down, too, on the card. That's fine, too. We'll figure it out. Rice, Murphy. Oh, we got Murphy once. So the first guess of Dale Murphy gets it. You have to guess someone else there. Truth, sorry. Let me get this so there's no um, thing, but it's not working too good. I'm trying to get rid of the glare. It's not working. I'm going to have to just shield it for you guys. That's all. Sorry. <laughs> Juan Soto. There's no Juan Soto in this one. We wish. Maybe Juan Soto's. Grandfather. We got a Ripken. All right, Hobbyist guest one. Urban's got 20. We got a Pete Rose guess. Got a Ripken guess. Mario Soto. I don't think, yeah. Well, that might be his dad. I don't know. I haven't. Haven't wikied it. Truth is guessing 15. Okay. 
All right, everyone got their guesses in. Let me scroll back to the first, whoever the first guess was. Uh, Jim Rice was the first guess by Jason, right? All right, so here we go. And then Truth re-guessed Pete Rose is his guess, right? Number 15. Yes, okay. All right, how does it guess the player when Boom Flying opens the pack? Has everyone put down a guess on who's uh, who's going to be in this pack? All right, here we go then. Gonna open it up. Little drum roll, please. This is not trash can banging. That's my version of a drum roll. And the winner of the greatest plastic baseball card for the year 1985 is. May I have the envelope, please? Okay, I got the envelope. All right, never mind. Here we go. Try to save the envelope. There we go. And, yeah, well, it already came out with the name showing. Dang it. I don't think anyone guessed this guy. Let's just do it. Jack Morris. No one guessed Jack. All right. I already let the cat out of the bag with his name, so... All right, Jack, you go back. I put Jack not there. Jack goes up there. All right. Now we're going to do two more, guys. Why not? Two more right off the top. Y'all know the checklist. Y'all know the routine. We'll do one number at a time, one card at a time. But we're going to do two more, and then we'll call it, I guess. So... Truth is sticking with Murphy. Javi has got number one, which is Mike Schmidt. Adam took number nine, who is Daryl Strawberry. Okay. Griffith takes Eddie Murray. Is Eddie Murray on the list? Uh, yes, he is number two. Okay. Brewers forever. Cards forever is taking Doc. Jason, same for you. What was your last guess? Jason, your last guess was Jim Rice. Or Juan Soto. All right. Rob G is taking Cal Ripken Jr. Urban is taking number 10. Ricky Henderson. This will be for both packs. So just one guess. You get credit for both packs. We're not going to do it twice. We'll just. Right. I'll open up both packs on your one guess. Does that sound good? All right, has everyone put in a number or a name? All right, your silence is a yes. All right, so here we go. No drum roll, no theatrics. Here we go. Card number one is going to be... There's the silhouette. You can see that. There's the silhouette. Oh, I know. Who's that look like to you? It looks like a Ripken to me. Cal Ripken. Hey, Jack. How's it going? It is Cal Ripken Jr. Who guessed Cal? Who guessed Cal? 
Rob G did, right? So this goes to Rob G. Nice. All right. Hey, Jack, how's it going? I'll let you know what we're doing here. So I can put Rob G on this so we don't get it confused. Rob G. All right. All right, Jack, how's it going? Uh, let's see. First things first. You have moderator privileges there, Jack. Um, feel free to list your YouTube channel and anybody in here and everyone in here. I encourage you to go over and sub him up. There you go, Rob G. Never mind my chicken scratch. It's legible to me. All right. So since we have a new, a new player, if Jack wants to get in on this, we'll do a whole new number thing. Rob, what we're doing is we're just guessing, basically the number on the checklist card here. And if you're guess the right number, the card is yours. Now, I know there's 30 numbers here, but we have 13 people in in the chat, so I mean that covers a pretty big portion of it. And um, so yeah, if you want to get in on this, it's a free card. I'll mail it to you. You can do is just send me your your mailing address and stuff like that, and I'll send it to you free of charge. Um, there's the checklist. I'll let it up here a little bit longer for uh, Rob. Now, if someone already guessed the uh, number, then you have to pick another number if they guessed it before you. So there's the numbers. Um, All right, so we are starting with the hoppiest guest with number one, then three, 24, 18, 20, Rice and Gooden. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people playing out of 12. Guys, jump in. It's a free card. 1985 Tops uh, 3D Baseball Superstars. It's a 30 card set. I think I paid 30 some dollars. Might have been like thirty-eight dollars, like for shipping and get the just to get it to my house. So whatever. So thirteen people in chat, and only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people playing. Jay, where's your uh, Alex? Where's your guess? I don't see you uh, guess there, Alex. All right, so as everyone guessed, Urban's got eight because Urban wants that Mattingly. Alex, are you going to pick a number or name? There's no um, John Allrude or anyone like that. Um, Carter should be in an Expos uniform, though. Right? Carter should be in an Expos uniform. Not Toronto, but still Canadian team, right? Um, Dave Steeb's on the list. He's a Blue Jay, an old Blue Jay, right? Yeah. All right. He'll take... So, all right, here we go. And no theatrics with this one. Straight to it. Ah, that's all good. Okay, so you can't see the name. All right, this one I opened it upside down. Oh, I already know who this is. Not 
I think we have a winner on this one, too. I'm thinking... Donnie Baseball? No? No. It's not Don Mattingly. I don't think it is. It's got a mustache. It's holding a bat. Hmm. Here we go. No. Kingman. Ah, of course. Kingman on that? I don't remember reading his name. Where's his name on this list? He's card number 12. Yeah, he's there. King Kong. Dave Kingman. Oh, well. Nice try, guys. Um, we'll do more of this. I did, I've did. done this a while back and um, kind of gotten away from it. But maybe I'll start doing it. I wanted to wait till I get my, my garage set up, but that's all right. We are, um, we are doing well with our um, subscriptions. We've been maintaining, at least, uh, not backsliding, which is always a good thing. All right, for channel growth, you don't want to lose subscriptions for whatever reason. Um, and anyway, so that's that, guys. Uh, appreciate everyone for um, stopping by, hanging out for a while, chit-chatting. Guys who want stuff, um, make sure to send me your mailing address and your YouTube name so I know who you are. And um, here it is again. my email address make sure you mail me and we'll um get that stuff out to you thanks for the thumbs up guys thanks for coming by and hanging out i had fun it's always fun when you give away stuff for free i think um and yeah i um uh, yeah um i have nothing else to say unless you guys have any final uh comments words of wisdom or anything to say or add uh, I will say, don't forget to tell your friends about this channel and um, spread the word about everyone else's channel. There's Jack's um, YouTube channel, guys. So please go over and check him out and sub him up. Remember, that is that is one of the goals of this channel is to help every one of you guys grow your channels too. All right? Um, we all have the same goals. You know, we all want to uh, get to that thousand. That's our like that's our big. That's the first really big goal. You can have. 100 subscriber giveaway, 500 subscriber giveaway, 750 subscriber giveaway, whatever. Which, by the way, um, I have a 750 subscriber giveaway, guys, that I have to set up. Holy cow, I forgot. Oh, no, I gave that away. Yeah, never mind. Um, Mountain Girl, I won that one. So the next one for me is 1,000 subscribers. And that that channel, uh, that video is up. I'll have to start relinking it again. Um, and uh, hopefully we can get everyone to a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. And then all you have to do is focus on your view hours. View hours can be achieved very quickly by doing live streams. Like I've crushed the 4,000 hours viewed a long time ago um, for this year. Well, we're in, we're in a new year, but I bet you I've crushed it already too. Just by throwing in some live, like we're at an hour and a half. If we go an hour and 45 minutes, I'm going to get five, six, seven, eight hours because there's so many people in the stream. And the more people you get in the stream, the more hours you get. There's void. Start void. Hold on. Let me give you moderator there, void. Link your YouTube channel so that anyone here who has not subscribed to you can go ahead and subscribe to you. Uh, new goal of this ch channel is not just to share baseball cards with you guys, but to help you guys grow your channels by allowing you to link your channels and encouraging, not forcing anyone, but encouraging everyone in here to go subscribe to each other. Um, and, you know, hopefully we can all get to our goals of, you know, a thousand. It's been a grind for a lot of us. I know, I know a lot of us have been hovering at, you know, the 100, 200, 300, 400, you know, whatever plateaus, you know, um, but, I think if we can, if we can do like Gippy Gip does, if you guys know who Gippy Gip is, um, I've been a follower of his uh, for well, probably a year now, and he promotes people's channels, and he's gone from like 
I don't know. He's at 11,000 subscribers and he got a thousand subscribers probably in like a month. You know, it's ridiculous um, how fast his channel's growing and he doesn't do baseball cards. He doesn't, I don't know what he does over. He just helps people grow their channels by giving them shout outs and promoting their channels on his channel. And people are buying into it. People are saying, you know what? If I, if I help other people grow, they're going to help me grow. And that's all we have to do, just help each other grow. We have to we have to do it amongst ourselves here on our little baseball card community. Um, the little guys helping the little guys. It's not we can't rely on the big guys. They're too busy doing their breaks. They're too busy doing their thing, you know. But they are they're looking at it like, oh, I had to grind for two or three years before I got my channel up and going too. You know, and that's that is true, but Maybe we we can get there a little bit quicker, you know. That's all. And um, yeah, how was everybody's weekend? By the way, I chopped down a tree. Chopped down a tree and changed on O2 sensor on my old car. Not my new pickup. I'm, I have an older car that I've been trying to sell that people buy and they don't come by or people. Ask about, but they never come by and buy it. Never come by and look at it. East Loss. What's up? Mountain Gorilla is here. It was not a cherry tree. Alex is going to get upset with me, but I cut down a maple tree today. Yep. All the maple leaves fell all over the ground. He's lost. Go ahead and link your YouTube channel. Some of these guys may not know about your channel. Feel free to link it and try to get you some subscribers here tonight. Um, Mountain Gorilla, same for you. I know you, you're well known in the community, but link your channel and maybe East Lost has never heard of you or Jack Plays Tops Digital has never heard of you. And this way we're going to help each other grow our channels. Uh, what a maple tree. Yeah, yeah, I cut it down. Maple leaves are all over the ground now. It almost fell on my house. I was like, thank God my son was there. I thought I had it cut right, and it could have been one of those blooper videos. Thank God I wasn't recording it. Maple syrup. There you go. And um, I started. it started to go, and my son was using a chainsaw, and I was just holding the rope kind of to pull it. And it started going towards the house, so I had to yell him to stop, and he stopped, and then I had to go get another strap, cargo strap, and I had to tie it to the to the uh, tie-down uh, hook on my little Kia Spectra 5 that was already in the backyard that I was trying to sell, and uh, I had to pull it down with that because it was falling towards the house, and on top of my brand new solar panels, my wife would have killed me. She gave me all the warnings and was like, you know, you're going to fall on the house. I'm like, no, nah, I know what I'm doing. You know how it is. You know your machismo comes out of you. And uh, you know everything. And it turns out I was wrong. Hey, Positive Breaks, how's it going? There you go, Positive Break. You've got a blue wrench. Feel free to link your YouTube channel so that if anybody here has not heard of you, they can... Sub you up right now. We have 13 people in the chat still. So feel free, guys, to go over and check everybody out. Um, you know, whatever. Advertise your channel. That's fine. I, I have no problem with that because it's five away from 250. And he'll be doing a giveaway. So right there you go. Brewer's Cards, guys. He needs five more. We got 13 people in the chat. Let's go get him to 250. And let's get everybody who's not at 1,000. Let's work on getting everybody to a thousand. All right, let's get them all over that hump so we can all stream live off of our iPhones, you know, without having to use a third party, you know, uh, app like Streamlabs and whatever. There's a couple of them out there. Guys, I also did. If you look back on my playlist, I did a couple videos um, about how to help 
increase your YouTube algorithms. I'm by far in no way an expert. This is stuff that I've learned um, and I've applied it. So it's make sure you use a minimum 20 um, tags on your, you know, your, when you tag your videos. Make sure they're relevant to your video, obviously. Um, I found out that if you use sports cards, it's pretty good one to use, not just baseball cards or football cards or hockey cards, but also throw in sports cards. Um, whatever sport it is, NHL, MLB, NFL, make sure you use that in one of your tags if that's what you're doing, those specific cards, right? Um and, or NBA, um, names of certain players, so the cards that you pull, Maguire's, Canseco's, um, Zion's, if you're doing basketball, um, football, you know, whoever the big, you know, Brady's, I guess, and whoever the big rookies are. Uh, if you find rookie cards in your tag, put rookie cards, you know. All these tags and, and come up with a minimum of 20 that are relevant to your video. Um, that's going to help the YouTube algorithms out. Um, make sure your title is long enough. You need, you're allowed up to a hundred characters in your title guys. So don't be afraid to make a pretty long title. Short titles are not good. You know, like mail day. Uh, no, make it like what player you got mail day whether it was a Raleigh Fingers mail day or whatever. Um, people search Raleigh Fingers more than they'll search mail days. You know what I'm saying? Like when you go on YouTube, do you ever type in, oh, mail day, and see how many videos come up under mail day? I don't. I type what I'm looking for, and you guys do too. So don't start out with mail day or something generic like that. Start out with something specific and then work it from there. Um, in your description, there's such a thing as having too little of a, of a description as well. So make your description, you know, like a paragraph, make sure you put links in there for whatever, if you want to promote someone's channel or whatever, um, make sure you can put your, your email address in your description, anything you want in there, believe it or not, if your subscription is too short, you know, that is a minor issue, but. You know, I, I bought a program that will tell you that your subscription's too short. Like, I can look at your videos, and it'll tell me, um, give me some information about your, your description, your title, and your tags, um, all that good stuff. And I can go onto your channel, and I can look up, you know, not just my own, but I, it'll tell me what, what problems you may have with yours, what you're lacking a little bit in yours. So, um, just... Watch those two videos. Uh, adding cards. I did a video on adding cards. I'm by no way an expert. And they're already changing. YouTube's changing their thing for adding cards. Like I added cards and they were just um, a little exclamation point that was up on your screen somewhere. And people, a person would cursor over it. They'd click on it. And they would take a, 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 a survey or something like that. I was just using surveys. Do you like this type of video? Would you like to see more? You know, that kind of stuff. Um and they're changing that. Well, you can't do surveys anymore. So uh, that's why I stopped putting them up. Um, I haven't gotten into um, making the, um, you know, the other stuff on there. I did one video where I played around with it. I have to play with it more. I'm still learning too, guys. I'm still learning stuff too that's going to help my channel grow. And you guys can learn these things too. There are probably YouTube channels out or YouTube videos out there about everything you need to use to help your channel look better, eye appealing, right? Something that catches their eye that's not clickbait. Obviously, no one wants, no one likes clickbait. Um, and yeah, just you know, there's a lot of stuff that I'm still learning about making my channel better. And you guys can do the same thing. You're never too old to learn. <laughs> Thanks, I can tell you. Um, anyway, guys, um, I, I'm running out of things to say. Thanks for the thumbs up guys. I appreciate it. We're an hour and 50 minutes already. Um, 
what I will do is when this is done, when I shut this down, I will list uh, in the description how long I streamed and how many hours I got credit for how many people in here. Like it's going to tell me what my peak viewership is and all that when I shut it down and all that good stuff. Average view time, all that stuff. You know, when you live stream, it tells you all that. YouTube tells you all, all that. And I'll just let you guys see how many hours you can get if you've never live streamed, how important it is to throw in a live stream like once a week <clears throat> to get those 4,000 hours viewed. For a lot of people, that's hard. To, they think that's hard to get to. It's really not. If you live stream, you'll be all right. I know Mountain Gorilla probably crushed his 4,000 hours probably within the first couple months of the year because he does live streams like every day. That's fine, positive. It is what it is, guys. I know I'm going up against, you know, you're going up against guys that are breaking cards and stuff, doing their live streams too. And and that kind of stinks, you know, when you're going up against some of the big guys, the, the Jabs families, the Phil's pools, and some of the big breakers, you know, that, they suck everyone away. They suck, you know. Some people just migrate to that, and that's fine. That's their that's their shtick. That's their deal. That's what they like. I'm not that kind of channel where, you know, I can afford ten thousand dollar box of cards and stuff like that. <clears throat> you know, my my last year I worked, I didn't make thirteen and a half million dollars. You know. There you go. Hop around. Guys, you can stream up to like seven different YouTube uh, um, uh, tabs, like uh, pages. You can open up like seven different ones. And I, I do five to seven. I used to do ten, but I found out that YouTube frowns on like when you do ten. So I think the ideal number is like seven. And then you can – I pick usually pick out one that I listen to. And the other ones may be muted, but they're playing, and the guys are getting credit for the view time. You know, and I give them a thumbs up. And of course, if I'm watching them, I'm already subscribed to them. But sometimes I go through their home page, and I'll go through their who they're subscribed to, and I'll look for people that I'm not subscribed to, and that's how I pick up other places, other you know, um, <clears throat> creators to go to, and and find new new guys, new people doing the breaks and stuff like that, or doing just sharing their cards or collection with us. That's another good way uh, of doing that. I just go through their, their, who they're subscribed to. Not, not just who they're, their main, like the guys are promoting, but if you click on like the word subscriptions on their thing, it'll actually bring up a whole big list of everyone. That's if they have their thing public. Like I keep my settings at public. Because I want people to know who I'm subscribed to because I enter some of their, their giveaways too. And part of everyone's you know thing for the giveaway is please be subscribed to the channel. They just don't want guys coming in and, and taking away from the guys that have dedicated a whole year or more to their channel of you know being a loyal viewer and stuff like that. And then some guy who's really just subscribed for a week ago just to get into the giveaway and then uns unsubscribe you know, later. So they want to at least verify that you're subscribed, and and I I totally subscribe to that that method of doing it. Uh, you want to make sure they're subscribed. You only give away your nice giveaways to someone who's only you know gonna unsubscribe you right afterwards. Mountain Gorilla knows that he won my last uh, 750 subscriber giveaway. So. <laughs> Trying to branch out to whom I'm watching, getting into other breaks, and always give thumbs up. Yeah, guys, just thumbs up. Believe it or not, the YouTube algorithm picks that up, and then they use that to recommend um, your video. You know what I'm saying? Like if you look at the um, the Jab family, he gets, you know, his last he broke what he did a ten thousand dollar box of. Uh, 2011 tops update and uh, he had over 3,000 people viewing 
And can you imagine if he had 3,000 thumbs up? He only gets like 10% of that, like 300 thumbs up. I don't know what he got finally on that, how many thumbs up he got. But usually when I go into someone's channel, I try to make sure that, hey, guys, please give a thumbs up, no matter who the person is. Give them a thumbs up if, if it's you know a live stream or something like that. Give them a thumbs up so that, you know, show your appreciation. Show that you, you – by you giving a thumbs up, YouTube sees that, and they're going to promote your video over someone else who doesn't have any thumbs up. You know, and that's not fair to that person that's not getting thumbs up. I think we should – if you truly enjoy the video – you vote it up or you vote it down, plain and simple. If you don't like it, and don't do thumbs down because you don't like the Jabs family. I know a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people hate on him, but a lot of us, a lot of us, and I say us, um, got into it because of, because of his channel. Like I got, I've been already back into cards, but I've decided to really pursue my YouTube channel. Because I've watched his channel. I'm like, you know what? I can do that too. I, I can do videos. I got tons of cards. You know. Um, so that's what I do. I decided that that's what I'm going to do. And I want to continue doing this into my retirement. After I retire. Because I'm older than. Probably twice as old as the, the oldest person in my chat. So. Unless there's someone in here that's. Over 30. Mountain. Yeah. All right. So, Brewers, you're close. You're only 11 years behind me. Guys, I've been collecting cards since 1972. That's when I started really collecting cards as a kid. I collected before that because I had older brothers that were collecting, and they kind of, you know, we would go out and buy some every once in a while. Um, you know, didn't have a lot of money, so we would really work our butts off in the wintertime and shovel snow. That's when you could go out and shovel snow and earn money. You know, no one does that anymore. No one comes around to shovel your snow. Uh, we don't get much snow anymore, even in New Jersey, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, we went out and busted our hump, cutting grass, shoveling snow, whatever we could to earn money just to buy our baseball cards. I'm sure a lot of you other guys did that too. Now you can't even buy any baseball cards because there's none on the shelves. <clears throat> uh, whose chat was I in? I think it was um, John. Uh, the past is alive. Uh, someone's chat I was in, and I told them about. I just went up to Target, and I look over as I'm walking up to the baseball card shelf, and I see a box of select. I'm like, oh, my God. There's a blaster box of select. I got to get it. As I get closer, I notice, oh, the top's open. Hmm. And I bend down. I look into the top of the box. And the packs are in there. They're all ripped open. And all the cards are gone. John is a good guy. John is a good guy. That's for sure. I like John. I enjoy his, his content. And he's funny and he's really easy going you know he's just relaxes um kind of the opposite of eric his brother you know where god if any of you guys watch that uh, the the jabs family's last ten thousand dollar box break when that mike trout came out he just went off and the chat exploded of course you know as usual i was encouraged to start my channel from the bearded community. Okay. Yeah, he just, he was in my, um, he just recently subscribed to me, I think. I felt there wasn't anything I could add to the community. I thought I'd bring my hobby to the big screen. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, here it is. It's more like, the little big screen depends on the size of your monitor, I guess. Yeah. All right, guys, we're coming up on two hours. We're going to cut it off here in 15 seconds. Uh, we don't want to be abrupt like this, but I want to cut it off to the two hour point and then I'll post how much credit I got for this. So y'all know that live streaming is going to be good for you as well. Add it to the bearded community. Join the sports community. Hi. Huh? 
add to the bearded community. All right, guys, we're, we're over the two hour mark. Thank you guys. Quick, quick sign off everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I appreciate every one of you for stopping by, hanging out, chatting, giving the old thumbs up. If you enjoyed the uh, content and the channel, I appreciate it. And uh, with all that said and done, this is Boomslang signing out saying peace guys. We'll see you in the next one. We'll see you guys around in the channels. Guys, don't forget to send me your information so I can mail these cards out to you this week. Uh, that would be Field Guy, Rob G, and Alex, I have your information. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do more of this, guys. Um, try to do it not on Sunday nights, though. Again, thanks for tuning in, guys. See you later. Good night, everybody. Good night, Alex. Take care. Positive breaks. Thanks again, everyone. All right. Shutting her down. Two hours and one minute.